What's up guys, we're here with Millen. He got third place today. Uh, what were you playing today? Something spicy here. I'm playing Speedroid. Speedroid Cash Jira, you know, cause Cash is just not true. best deck, not yeah. best deck. Uh, any shouts you want to give today? No, not really. Just don't play this deck. This deck sucks. <laughs> it's awful. And uh, yeah, like I just threw this thing in like together last minute. It's like it's like not optimized at all. It's like it's just horrible. I don't even know how I'm here. I wanted to go home at lunch. So yeah, let's do the rest. Buddy of made it. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and well, let's speed into action. All right, we'll start with the speed rate stuff. So we got three Ultra Hound. So these and then two Marble Machines. So these are our five starters. Can I get you to turn them around, please? True, my bad. All good. I'm not used to doing deck profiles. So, okay, so we got our three Ultra Hound and our uh, two Marble Machine. So basically, um, Marble Machine is a Terror Top that's just infinitely worse because it doesn't special itself from hand. But um, it's basically just uh, on summon search for a speed ride. This guy, he on summon foolishes a speed ride. So usually you use him in conjunction with uh, a trap card to get a free link to. So this is the, the trap card. Uh, basically the trap card uh, targets, once per duel targets one and then reduces the level by one and then summons it back. So it gives you another body so you can go into the link two or you can go into the, the uh, synchro three. Okay, and if if uh, the other one was at three, would you cut this all together or if like Terra Top was at yeah, three? Yeah, Terra Top was at three. Oh, of course, bro. Okay, Terra okay. Top is broken. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so that, those are the first five starters, and then the rest are like pseudo extenders slash like like good like utility cards. So like, okay, first we got the Terra Top. Obviously, you have to play the Terra Top. It's it's like the most broken card in the deck. It's a one card like double crystal link, and then we got the two Denden Daiko Duke. So the Duke basically lets you, uh, it banish, you can banish from the graveyard to summon any um, speed right tuner from your graveyard or your hand. So it's like an extender and it's part of the combo piece that lets you get into the double crystal wing line. And then we got our, we got three car turbo. Um, summon if you have a wind, and then uh, it locks you into wind. So like, these lock you into wind, this, these two lock you into wind. Basically the whole deck, the moment you do your first summon, you're locked into winds, okay? This deck definitely sucks because of that, but it's, it's alright. And then um, you can banish this from, this from the graveyard to boost all of your wind monsters, this and one other, to, uh, one other wind monster to boost all of your monsters by 800 attack. So it helps you push through games sometimes. That makes sense, pretty cool. Yeah. Then we got the best extender. We got Tech and Tomberg. So, like, a lot of people use, like, this engine because it just gives you two free level threes. But in this deck, it's actually a lot better because it specials itself for free, but it also lets you tag out for any of your speedway tuners. So these guys are tuners, these three are tuners, and then there's some others I'll show you in a bit that are, that are tuners, and then it locks you into wind monsters. Oh no. Oh no. It's not like the whole deck is wind monsters. So then we play, here are a bunch of the one ofs So uh, Piper, Piper is a tuner that you can summon off of this as well. And basically, um, if it's normal or special, you can excavate cards from the top of your deck up to the number of other wind monsters you control, and then add a card to your hand. And this includes non-engine. You can add like anything you see off the top of your deck. So okay, like if, okay. you, if you see a D barrier, like it's, a, it's like basically, the worst case, it's a draw one by revealing it to your opponent. Uh, best case, it's like a prospy for like six. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. And then we have uh, Dice. This is another one of the tuners. This is a once, like not a hard once per turn um, level modulation. So in the double crystal wing line, you can um, bring this card back, like you can bring this card back and then like target one of your non-tuners, reduce its level by two, go into the cork shooter and then like revive it back and then extend, but and then it's not once per turn so it could change the level of the, um, the monster you bring back again, which lets you go into like multiple synchros and it's like, it's really good. Extends for days. Extends for days. Then we have the one rubber band plane. Uh, rubber band plane is basically, if you special summon a monster, it special summons itself, so it's a free extender. And that's pretty much all. It's a level five, so sometimes, like very rarely, you can like, you can get this to your hand uh, after like using the the rubber ba the uh, rubber band shooter, but like it's like it's just it's just there. Uh, it's mainly used for getting into the the rank the uh, synchro eight, 
and then we got the one double yo-yo. This is definitely the best reveal off of the Link 2 because um, it, it, it basically brings back uh, Terror Top and then um, Terror Top gets a search so you get like two non-tuners and then you get a search for like one of the extenders which gives you like a lot of gas. And then let's, we'll get into the non-engine. So this is all the speedrun engine. So we got three Ghost Warner. This deck, um, it's, it, obviously it's a worse Veiler, but this deck um, can get into the, the Link 2 using any wind monster. So you play this to sometimes like just normal summon it to get your extenders because it's, your extenders summon if they have wind monsters, like the car turbo and the um, and the attack and Tom Brook. So you basically just, uh, Sometimes you just need another name, like a wind, a wind card. Same thing with Droll. You can sometimes normal summon Droll, but Droll is Droll's the best hand trap in this format. So, well, maybe not anymore because Unchained is like getting, the best deck, yeah. getting more okay. popular. But yeah. Now let's get into the Kestira stuff. So we play one Fenrir. We play two Unicorns, two Planets, and one Birth. This should definitely be three Planets, but. Uh, like, I don't have a third planet. Yeah. <laughs> so. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair. <laughs> what would you cut for the third planet? Probably the... Uh, probably like a... Maybe maybe the Fenrir, but sometimes it comes up that you need to, like, if you open up, like, like, you already open up the Unicorn, you need to, like, search something off of the planet for next turn. But, like, sometimes it comes up, but, like, uh, probably some other non-engine. Like, I'm playing some, like, ridiculous cards that are just really bad, but, yeah. Fair you'll, enough, you'll fair see. enough. So this is the Cashier engine. It's just six cards. Then we'll get into the the speedroid spells. So so now we're getting that into spell cards. So we'll go speedroid wheels. This card is wild. It's very bad, but also kind of good. So uh, basically, very roulette -y. it's a roulette card. Uh, you roll, a, you discard a card. You roll a six-sided dice, and then you summon one or two speedroids from your deck that equals the number that you roll um, on the thing. So like for example, if I roll a six, I can summon two threes, a one and a five, um, a two and a th uh, sorry, a, a two and a four, like. It, or if worst case, if I roll a one, I only add something like a one from my deck. Um, sometimes when I've used this card, and I've like like I already drew the level one, which is the dice. It <laughs> you discard a card to burn yourself for five hundred. <laughs> so, oh no! So it's really bad. But most of the time, if you if you reveal like a like a four, a five, or a six, this card's like really broken. But if you roll, reveal like a a, like a one, two, or three. Like most of the time, it's like you need to see you need another extender in your hand to keep playing. Again, like this lets you go like one card into your rubber band shooter, which is the most important card in the extra deck. You'll see in a second. Um, then we play two speed recovery. This card's crazy. I remember this. Yeah, so it's a monster reborn, and then the next turn it lets you add back any speed droid. So if they like, this deck is very mid rangey. So if you like, you can use this to extend into your like synchros, and then. Uh, you can um, uh, use it the next turn to like get back your terror top if they break your whole board, and then the terror top is just like broken. Or you can like use it to get back the double yo yo if you used it and then summon back the terror top. It, it just gives you like a lot of follow up. Um, oh, there's one thing I didn't explain. So the the hound is good for another reason. The hound is um, is it has an effect in the graveyard. So on the next turn, it lets you shuffle, it banish this card, this cost. And then shuffle back a speedroid from your graveyard, and then summon a speedroid from your extra deck. That's the level of the speedroid that you uh, put back. <laughs> That's crazy. So like most of the time, you put back a three, and you summon the cork shooter from the extra deck, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, it's like it's it's really good for follow up. So like you this this card like opening it and having your graveyard like and this card like gives you a lot of follow up, S especially when you see some of the the synchros in the extra. Like they also give you follow up, and then just more non engine. We got three eclipse. Books are crazy. Two tactics, one call by, and then one duplicate. This is the trap I mentioned earlier. Um, on top of the being being able to revive itself for, from the graveyard by reducing the level, it, if you draw it, it's just uh, banish one wind and then target a card your opponent controls and bounce it. Okay, so it's okay. Like, it's like it's all right. And a lot of lists like play two of this, like the hardcore speedway list, because this card lets you uh, like if you like I'll show you in a second. But basically, you can use it for the other effect and the bounce. So like extra deck time. All right, so let's start with uh, the most important card in the extra deck. I completely forgot to sort my extra deck. Uh, we got the rubber band shooter. So we play two rubber band shooter. So this is a link two with two wind monsters. And then it has two really broken effects. Um, 
you can banish a a wind synchro from your extra deck and then you can reveal two speedroids from your deck that equals the level that of the wind synchro and then randomly add one to your hand and the other goes to the graveyard so most of the time what you want to do off of this card is you want to reveal double yo-yo and terror top and then you want to you hope that they get this to your hand because when they dump this you just get it you, anyways you, you can you get it back anyways because this reborns a um a speedroid so most of the time yeah and then the other effect is it gives you an additional normal summon for a wind monster but then it locks you into uh synchros okay okay that's that's pretty important but i guess you just play around it with all your synchros yeah um so now we'll get into the the reveals so first of all we'll start with the some of the the reveals so like this you play this because you can reveal it you can reveal a six off of rubber band to get two level threes to your hand it comes okay. up in some situations and it's, it's like it's good because um all of your monsters are the same type and same attribute so you can can't use destroyed, so it yeah. can't be like it's really hard to out this card and then you can also send cards to your opponent controls and obviously, like everything in the extra deck is basically win monsters. Like you have to play all win monsters because you get locked so early. Um, so that's one reveal. Um, then we play the clear wing synchro. Again, this card is like the card you banish 90% of the time. It's like, it, it sucks, you never make this card. You just banish it because you want to reveal seven off of rubber band shooter. And then we play, here's the other seven we play. We play Clearing Fast. This card comes up sometimes. It's a um, it's a level seven, so you can make it really easily with a three and a four. And then it, um, it's a imperm for a monster that your opponent summons out of the extra deck. And then it can, um, if it gets destroyed by battle or card effect, it can scale itself. And then you can tribute two um, monsters that equal its level to bring it back. Okay, that, okay, that's like, a tuner and non-tuner, yeah. Yeah, those, tuner and those are cool. Yeah, it, but like, it, it never really comes up. It's, you mainly make it because like, you make a Baron or something, and then you have to like, you have like two monsters that are kind of like a seven, so you make this guy. So then we'll get into some of the speedroid stuff. Okay, so we play one Chimbara. Again, it's a five, it's a reveal for a five that comes up very rarely. Um, but it has a really good effect uh, where it can push for game really easily because it can attack twice and then gain attack. And then if you comp if you combine it with the um, the car turbo, it boosts it by eight. So you can like it can like push through game like very like very easily. Dino used to play that card. Yeah, and then we got um, the other five, which is Hagoida. This card is broken. Um, basically, it come it has two effects. So it comes back. When you control speed right tuner and then which lets you get into your double crystal swing play because you can like go like a three you make the you make this and you make the the three which i'll show you in a second and then you synchro you make a crystal wing and then you extend with another like level three and then you bring this the card back and you make another crystal wing so crazy yeah and then we got the kite trick Kite Drake is a just an eight he's this card is like it comes up a decent amount it's a really broken card so basically um when it's summoned, it can activate one of two effects. Either it can destroy all cards on the field, except for this card, or negate the effect, uh, the effect of all face-up cards on the field, except for this card. And then if it's outed, if it's destroyed, uh, it can add any speedroid uh, monster from deck to hand. Okay then, okay. Yeah. So it like, helps clear the clearing boards going second for sure. And then we play two cork shooter. This is the real, like this, this card is the, the really broken synchro. Um, basically, speed metal rates, cruncher. Yeah, so it um, when it's summoned, you can either use one of two effects. If the materials used for its summon are in the graveyard, you can bring them back, or you can add a speedroid spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So, like basically, most of the time you want to use it for the second effect and uh, to to bring back. So you bring back like the dice, and then like using you use the dice and you like level modulate one to like a two. You make it. And then you bring back both of these, and then this level modulates to a five, and you make the Hagoida. And then this is a synchro tuner, so you synchro. Oh my god! You can synchro. And then in some certain cases, depending on what extenders you open, sometimes you can level modulate this to a five to make an easier Baron, if you already got into Hagoida earlier. And then the reason you play two is because uh, where'd it go? A second ago. Right there it is. The reason you play two is because of the Hound. So the Hound putting it like putting itself back and then, uh, sorry, putting back a speedroid. Usually all your speedroids are three, so you bring this back 
and then on your opponent's turn, you, you bring back the second one, and on, the, on your opponent's turn, you can bring this back because it comes back once per turn whenever you have a, a synchro. Um, and then, um, and then you can make like like on the crackback, you can make like the kite trick to just blow up their whole board. Yeah, phew, that's yeah. And then obviously we play, we play two crystallings. Um, two Damn. were to afford two ghost rares. That's crazy, the ghost rare. Yeah. And then we play two of the best synchros, the Baron. Two Barons, okay, okay. Yeah, a lot of the time, like, it comes up that you make a, you make two of them because, like, when you set up, like, a unicorn with, like, a birth, that you always get the unicorn follow-up afterwards when they break your board or whatever for the next turn, or if you use it. So uh, you always have access to a Baron, and if one of them gets outed, there's no way to put it back in the extra deck, but you kind of need the second one sometimes, so that's why you play two. And then the final, final card in the extra deck is Appaloosa. Shout to David. So, basically, the reason you play Appaloosa is that in the case that you get debarriered and you haven't committed to using the second normal, you're only locked into wind monsters. So you're not locked into wind synchros. So then sometimes you can extend like with this and then like two uh, more guys and then just make an Appaloosa. That's fair, it's fair. Yeah, it actually happened like two times today. I was playing against Dragon Link and I had to make, I made an Apple for four because I got debarriered. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, we'll move on to the side deck. Side deck just for our locals, or is it like this pretty standard? It's. I think it's pretty. It, I think it's for our locals. Like uh, I. I don't know. Like, you'll, you'll see. It's not. It's not good. So we're on the hand trap. Okay. All right, we're on hand traps because this deck plays like I think as you've seen it. Like this deck seven plays or something. This no more than seven. Like all oh, the, yeah, the yeah. cashier is non engine. You got the. Uh, you got the drolls. You got the mourners. You got the call by. You got the like. There's like a lot of non engine. So. It's like really flexible what non-engine you can play. Typically, like in the pure speedway build, like not with the cash stuff, you just play like 50 non-engine or something like that. Something ridiculous. Do you take out the cash stuff sometimes for these hand traps? No, the cash stuff's always good to see. Okay. All okay. the time, it's always good to see. So three and two. I played five because I hate labyrinth. <laughs> so like five, I, I guess is like a is like a ratio I like. And then um, this is like. I don't know. Honestly, this is just for like this is also like double works against branded, so like it's like all right. Again, it's like not optimal, but like whatever. And then three nib. I put this in because of unchained and also D link. Fair enough. But it's not in the main. It's in the side. It's I completely side. agree with that. Yeah. And then like I'm not even joking. Like if I played against if I played against. You need a few more beverages or anything before I go. I haven't played against. I didn't play against any purely today, but like. My side deck has nothing for purely. Like, they make a noir, like I'm, I'm fucked, okay? Like this is like, this is messed up. <laughs> so like the side deck sucks, okay? Don't don't play this side deck, okay? And then 3D barrier for going first because you can excavate it off the Piper sometimes and then just set it. Right. Yeah, and then uh, two evenly, one duster, and then one herald of the abyss. That's my one purely card. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Would you play like, thrust in this or oh definitely like if i had a bunch of my other cards like i would uh not play the side deck at all that's fair so that's fair it, uh, yeah it's like it's whatever it's like it's all right it got you there today it so. got me there today like, once again congratulations and uh thank you for explaining everything all right no worries sounds good